All right, so today I want to do something a little bit different. Uh, I guess every week is kind of a little bit different. Uh, but this week especially so because I want to look at a pro game. And this is going to be a little bit advanced. Uh, I know there's going to be a lot of moves that don't quite make sense. I'm going to try to explain them uh, to the best of my ability today. Um, but I think it's really, this is a really good opportunity because this Go game in particular is very famous. Uh, it's, it's, at least it's very well known. It's the most downloaded game on the internet. Uh, which is just kind of telling. Um, it was more or less a blitz game, about 30 seconds a move, so it was played re really, relatively quickly uh, between two professionals, uh, Hong Jensik and Lee Sedol. And Lee Sedol is an immensely famous Go player. I'm not sure if you guys have heard that name before, but you'll still see his name again and again as really big, famous Korean Go players. Um, so in this game, Lee Sedol is black and Hong Jensik is white. Um, did anyone get to look at it before today? I sent it out that email. Larry got to browse it. It's weird. It's weird. It's weird, yeah, right? Like it. uh, and now the reason why I wanted to show this game is because this is this is one of those games that when you see it, it sticks with you. You know, it's not. It's it's a game that sort of haunts you. Uh, it's a game that you go, that shouldn't happen, and then you realize, oh my God, Go is amazing, and then you go, like, oh, wait, but that shouldn't happen. You have to. It's, it's sort of a game you have to deal with and wrestle with, like how, how did this thing happen, because it's a really weird Go game. Uh, and, and, you know, I attribute it all it's entirely to the genius of Lee Sato. You know, he basically tricked his opponent, is basically what it comes down to. He tricks his opponent into this giant, you know, 50 move sequence, which is amazing. Uh, but, you know, we'll get to see it play out and, you know, hopefully you'll have a better, uh, or maybe not better, but just, just a more open mind when it comes to playing Go about what's actually possible on a Go board because there is so many ways and directions and styles of Go playing that uh, you, know, you can really express yourself as a personality and really find a lot of subtlety. So anyway, does that sound good? All right, here we go. Lee Sadol is black. And Lee Sadol, I'll say one more thing just about him. Um, I, I watch his games every once in a while just to sort of catch up what he's doing. And he is just a sick Go player, I mean. He, you get the feeling from watching his games that he doesn't care about anything on the board, right? He just doesn't care. And then, at the same time, he'll, while he's not caring about any particular stone on the go board, he'll then kill everything. Yeah. Um, but his moves just look, I mean, too, if you're not looking for the deeper meaning behind the moves, they just look random. I mean, they just, they'll, they just look strange. And you'll have groups over here, and you'll be worried, like, this is going to die! It's Lee Sadol, you have to go save your group! And he will go... And he'll go make a week over here and he'll go, Lee Sedol, you have to go save your group. And he'll go, and he'll go play over here and make a week group. And all of a sudden, all the, all the week groups will come together and just destroy everything else on the board. That's basically what happens in this game. So I'm going to give it away a little bit. Um, but Lee Sedol ends up killing three quarters of the board in this game. So I shouldn't give it away, but now you want to know how, right? How is this possible? Well, this is the movie starts with. Ooh. Oh, that's how you win. All right, you guys know this move, right? Right, very common opening, wants in some influence everywhere. White goes there. <laughs> oh my gosh, this, this Go game is so amazing. Exactly, even Caitlin has her mouth, can't believe it. I How play games like that. How amazing, how about this move? Also, almost as amazing, right? Some of you guys who've been playing longer know this move a little bit better than others, but very normal. Guess what White does? Plays in that corner, except no, white doesn't. White approaches immediately. So leave that fourth corner. This fourth corner is going to take a very long time for it to get played. You're going to see why. And you could actually even reason that, you know, maybe uh, when the person who plays this first move down here is that, that move could be a mistake too. I mean, we, could, we could almost treat it like a mistake in the game. Like the first person to take the corner. Whenever you take the corner, it's wrong. Just don't take the corner. <laughs> Ashley. Um, which, um, which. Color is um, the like the random move. Uh, Lee Sedol. It's not. I mean, he, it's he's not random. I mean, he has a very I deep mean, like, plan, but his plans are just way beyond my level of playing. Go. <laughs> he is black. Okay. Right, so Lee Sedol is black. All right. So white approaches. Uh, black didn't really appreciate that. So black's gonna play this. It's a two space high pin screen, and we're going to launch into a joke that you guys have probably never seen. Um, it's a very common Joseki uh, that actually isn't played a whole lot more by pros. And I think this game might have something to do with that. One of the reasons why this Joseki is no longer played as often. Um, but if you play on KGS and you get up to those single digit cues, even down level, 
you're going to see this pattern played out a lot. White approaches high, and we, approach, we pincer that stone two spaces, so we're going to trap it. Uh, this is actually also the start of something called the Magic Sword Yoseki. I don't really want to talk about that today, but this is the start the of the Magic Sword of Yoseki. Yoseki. Hmm? Not the Magic Sword is not a set of Well, there's the, the Magic Sword of Muramasa Yoseki. What? Which, there's the Magic Sword shape, and there's the Magic Sword of Muramasa Yoseki. Dan, go get a sheet of this. Okay. I think you lose. I think you lose. <laughs> you think you lose. <laughs> you play the magic sword. The sword is not, it's a destruction of something. Uh, I learned it as a Yoseki. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> go get a sheet of this. Look it up. See what a sheet of this is. You can do it. I encourage you to. Anyway, white's next move. White has a weak stone. Two against the one. Do you guys remember Yul and Yang's rules? Two against one. What do we have to do? Play there. Yeah, respond, right? Don't Tanuki. Right? If, if there's three black stones, one white stone? Tanuki. Tanuki, go white somewhere else. So white has to do something. This is the move that white plays. That's crazy. This starts uh, this, this giant, this sets this giant Joseki in motion. This is a normal move uh, by today's standards. It looks very strange to your eyes. That's good. Brand new. This is a very weird jump, right? It's like white's jumping, but white missed. Instead of jumping out, white went, ah! Oh! Slip and fell. Right? So obviously there's something wrong with this jump. So black, you know, is going to say, hey, you, you played too far. You, you missed. Don't cut it. White has a plan. White says, no, 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 I have a, I have a plan. Black says, no, I don't want to eat my stone. And white goes, no, I have a plan. And black says, well, it's not connecting to that stone because I can't be your plan, so I'm just going to keep making this stronger. White comes down here. Black connects. So far, you can see white has something starting or something to get uh, going down here. And white has uh, one stone over here, and black is sort of strong, cutting them in between. Yes, that's the shape. I don't, I don't want to worry about the Joseki too much. If you, if you want to go home and look at Kogo's Joseki dictionary, or go to Sensei's library online, or you know, looking at Joseki book, you can replay this Joseki, but it's not really what the game. The end of the joke, the end of this Joseki is what matters. Okay, for this season. This is still Joseki, it's all normal. So black responds here. And right now, as far as the Joseki, there's two choices in this Joseki for white. If white has the ladder, right, has the ladder coming out of here, white can play here and take the whole corner. Only if white has the ladder. Does white have the ladder? Because this ladder is going to come this way and hit this stone. So white has the ladder, right? So white can play this way. If white doesn't have the ladder, white can play there. And the reason why this matters is, actually I'm going to show you because it's going to, they're going to, the players are going to play it so you'll see it in the game, why this ladder matters. Again, this is called the ladder game. It's in the title. <laughs> Uh, is because this ladder is going to start some interesting things. This isn't the ladder that's played out. Just wait, it's exciting. Okay, so Joseki, right? So white took this corner. Black has, uh, you know, these stones over here. Black's going to cut. This cut does not work. This stone is dead. But it also sets up the ladder. You right, Dan? <laughs> So you guys see this cut? White has these cutting points, weaknesses, right? What do we do to weaknesses, Caitlin? Oh, we fixed them if we're white. What if we're black? Oh, we cut them. Good. All right, here's, I'm gonna, this is the first question. You guys, this is a, a go question. Have to tell me how to capture this stone. This is a good question for your level. How do we capture this stone? I told you it's dead, right? Prove it. What do you want to try? Does this work? No, oh, that, that was good. That did not work. Kaylin, what do you want to try? Want to come play? 
Is that going to capture this stone? I'm going to play there. I saved my stone. Oh, that one. That's a good move. Good job. All right. It's not over yet. It's only going to get worse. I'm going to play there. These two stones are now dead. This is the actual game. This is what they do in the game. Even though these stones are all going to die, Lee Sable is playing them anyway. Good, I have to descend over here, right? Last place, this move. That's a mean looking move. These three stones are now dead. If you can figure out how to kill them. Correct. This is very important. If we Atari the two stones this way, black is going to play here. What's the problem? Well, too many liberties, good, number one. And number two, white has too many weaknesses, right? White has a weakness there. White has a weakness there. Too many weaknesses. I can't, if I, white only gets one stone. White can't defend both weaknesses. Can't Atari this way. But we can Atari this way. And that also fixes that weakness, that weakness sort of. So, black place here. Next move. Do you know? Right here. If you do that, I'm going to play over here. And you have a problem. These stones are going to run out. Yeah, you got to play right. Whoops, not right. Okay, right there on top of that. Good. But if you do that, Black's going to do this. You already have. There we go. That's already here. Thank you. All right, so you blocked here. Black's now going to do this. That looks better. What do you have to do now, White? Here? Then what's the problem? Oh. You just got eaten. You just got eaten. Villain, good job. Alright, Black's gonna do this. This is getting hard, right? Remember the remember I said this stone was dead? Do you see if this stone is dead, now all these new friends have to be dead too? Black's playing seven stones that should die. We still haven't killed him yet, though, right? Okay, so is this the Joseki? This is Joseki. This, this, this is one variation of Joseki. Is this what actually happens in the game? This is the actual game. Both players know that these are dead. That's not like both players know this. They're just playing it out. Great. And it's two changes. Good block. And uh, let me make sure I get my order right. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I guess we'll play it all right. Uh, but at some point, Black plays this. Now, how many liberties, before we talk about this, how many liberties does this black group have? Four. Four, good. How many liberties does this white group have? Three. Hmm? One, two, three, four, five. So who gets captured? These white stones or these black stones? Black stones get captured. I told you they were dead. All right. So so far they still look dead. Wait, what about the other side? Black group only three liberties. Uh, where? Which side? Yeah. These. What about the top? This one. The white ones. Are those okay? Oh, these. Yeah. Ah. We'll watch. It's white's move, right? You're right. These stones need help. These are the ones that have three liberties. They need help. White comes there. So, there we go. But, how many liberties do these two stones have? Two. These are even in more trouble. But you know what? They're okay. Why are they okay? Because if Black tries to capture them,
Yeah, Ashley knows where this is going to go. Ashley has seen this before. Uh, Ashley, tell us what's going to happen here. It's going to make a ladder, and then it'll go and hit that, and then, and then it'll land. And they'll be safe. Yeah. They'll be safe, right? So it's a ladder. So as long as white has the ladder, this is what I mean when I say white has the ladder. I mean, if there's a ladder that runs up here, it runs into a white stone. White has the ladder. White is fine. No problem. You guys understand? Excellent, it's going to get worse. All right, so white plays here to get more liberties. Black plays here, trying to seal in. And if white doesn't respond, black should actually play here, and this actually captures these. That's cool. So white can't allow that. Again, white gets liberties. And uh, maybe make an exchange over here. Uh, move order. Something like this. Black uh, plays down here. Place here, black throws in. They're just filling in each other's liberties. Uh, black's move, right? Black plays here. How many liberties does this white group have now? It's three. Um, it's actually, it's hard to count three because black can't play these two liberties directly, but we'll say three. Three is good enough. How many liberties does this black group have? Three, but it's white's move. So white needs to take away a liberty, right? So now black has two, white has three. Who wins? Black. White, so white's still happy, right? Yeah. Black plays there just to gain an extra liberty. And white plays there. Why there? Yeah, white can't Atari this, right? White wants to play here to, to threaten to capture all these, but if white plays here, where's black going to go? And capture those three stones. So white can't play this side, right? So white has to come from this side. So white plays there. Okay, this Joseki is over. We finished it. So what's the result? That was a lot of stones, right? Yeah, so white gets one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight black stones. Sixteen points. That's pretty good. What did black get? Got this weird looking wall. We got a little bit of a wall over here, but not a great wall either. So black got two kind of so so kind of walls. But black got something else that was very important. Okay, no? <gasps> oh, with this stone, I think there, there's that. Yeah, so it's looking like black has some potential.